thank you so much for coming back to my channel. This is an updated house tour. It's well overdue. I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe if you like my channel for more videos. Thank you. Welcome back to my channel, the long awaited video. So let me just go ahead and start. This is the front door, so I'm starting right here. To the right of the door, we have a little shoe rack. I know it may look messy, but we just always take off our shoes because we don't really like to wear our shoes in the house so we just put them on this little rack and i made these cute little shoes i should do a diy on how i made those really inexpensive puma pumba <coughs> slides inspired i'm not sure if y'all seen this Ooh, let me get out um but it just says welcome please be sweet and remove your shoes off your feet i made that little sign and put it in a cute little frame and hung it right there um this little stand came from my mom's so did the lamp and the mirror in this floor arrangement this whole setup came from my mom because she let me buy these mirrors from this frame from her so that's what i have to the right here just a cute little foyer area i want to put a rug right here but i don't know to the left of it we have this uh mirrored heart arrangement right there with this little can with bamboo stuff sticking out <clears throat> then i have the window the curtains that floral arrangement usually sits on the table, but I was gonna do a tablescape for Christmas, but Christmas came by so fast, I didn't really get to do all I wanted to do for Christmas. I want to decorate it. So I just put the little angel on the center and just left it plain. Um, so yeah, then I have this going on. And then that picture came from Ross, I believe, and I just hung it up there. No, I think that came from my mom. I don't know but I just have this going on. And I can't do a house tour or I can't walk around my house or clean my house without putting candles. So this scent right here, if you do not have it, you need to go get it. It's just the Febreze, the gain kind. This is my bathroom setup. Um, it's like blingy shells because I want to do a beach theme because I always want to do a beach theme and I thought it would be really cute. So those came from Home Goods and I have the matching um, can put these things off right here. Then I just got this um, shower curtain the other day. It says a day at the beach is good for my soul. Relax, splish, 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 splash. And that's just what I got right there. I would have hung it higher, but the I don't know, not the shower curtain. I guess the shower liner in the back. I want it to be long so it doesn't um have water on the floor and I need to get like a mat in here um it's just what I have going on but I might go to plain because I think the patterns with that is just too much then I need to get a picture right here I still haven't got that yet um so yeah this is the guest bedroom um I'm not even sure what I what I've shown y'all so far and I didn't go back and look I should have but I think it's coming out pretty good i haven't really done anything i need to add a picture right there i just haven't seen anything that i like so if y'all go into the store and y'all see like beach inspired looks that could match like i'm doing like beach sunset type thing theme i see a lot of blue for the beach but not a lot of coral and then i just put our picture in here because i felt like it would match really good in this room um then i just have the tv going and these little three mirrors so yeah that is this room. I would show you the closet, but it's a mess. All right, we can either go up the stairs and go straight. We're going to go straight. I guess I'll start to the right. To the right is the living room. Um, so my cousin was my husband's cousin. So I guess she's my cousin now, but she bought us this cute little, uh, I don't know, bag or storage. And my best friend brought me most of the games in here. I've added my own. Um, Five, uh, five Seconds is a great family game. I suggest y'all get that game from um, Walmart, Target, wherever. It's a great family game. Um, but yes, yeah, so I just put all our games in here. And I love to keep it out just in case um, people come over and they get bored. They're like, oh, I want to do something. I'm like, oh, let's play a game. Um, so that's there. My mom gave me this. I'm not sure. I guess I'm going to put like a flower pot on it. But I don't know. I just keep it right there. Um, so my house is still decorated for Christmas. I'm going to take this stuff down, but I wanted to do the 
house tour with it up because I just felt like my Christmas tree was really, really cute this year. So all this stuff is the same, nothing changed. Um, my mom bought me and my husband, ooh, language arts teacher. My husband and I, these, um, sorry, my mom bought my husband and I this little speaker amp system. The music goes really, really loud on that. Um, so she bought us that for Christmas, and I just leave it in here. But when I move the Christmas tree, I'm going to put one speaker on each side, and I'm going to put a little amp under there and so that I, the music can stay in here. Um, this was my Christmas tree this year. Um, it was my first Christmas tree. It is an artificial one, and it looks, like, really real to me. I don't know why. I just, I don't know. I just love this Christmas tree, and I went with the... I went with like silver and gold, but like, you know, I have to add my blingy touch to it. So I did like, um, where's the blingy? Oh, I did like some bling mirrors stuff and then some, I don't know, just, but then I added uh, the Florida State because it had gold in it. Um, well, garnet and gold. Um, but yeah, I added that because I had little heels on the tree and I didn't want it to be like my Christmas tree. So I just added him like a football little thing right there. And these were our stockings. So nothing in this room changed a lot. I mean, I just kept it the same. I still want to get like a pillow or something for this chair because it just looks so empty. Um, did I have curtains the last time I was here? I don't know, but I want end tables, like a little table to put right here. And once I get that table, I'll put the Mr. and Mrs. and then our picture and like a little lamp or something on that. But I haven't found one I liked and I haven't really been looking either, but yeah. So this was our little table for, um, this is our little table, table centerpiece for Christmas. Um, I don't know, I had a vision board party and I had bought this from Walmart just to put on the table. All right, so I was rambling. I just added two stools for the kitchen island area and I was saying that I need to add something in that corner. It was really boring, so I just set it up. Um, but yeah, follow me upstairs now. Our only room that is empty. The closet has stuff in it like, um, I guess I can show you the closet. It has my wedding dress in there, like the TV thing, like some extra pillows and stuff like that, but nothing base, just nothing major. I mean. <clears throat> but this is the baby's room when we have a baby and I wanna keep it empty until he or she comes. Um, I don't wanna put anything in here and then like we have a kid, you know? So I'm gonna show you all the rooms first before I show you my bedroom. Alrighty, so go ahead and stop what you're doing right now and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I promise more videos coming very, very soon. Back to the schedule program. <laughs> Anyways, um, so we have this little setup in here. It's another guest bedroom. I tried to go with yellow because I felt like yellow is a very um, bright color and I've always wanted to do a yellow room. So we got this bed and bench from Kane's um, and then uh -oh, we have this little TV stand from, um, where did we get this from? I think it came from Walmart. I don't remember. And then it has a closet with like extra blankets in there and stuff. Um, and then this little mirror. So nothing really going on in this room um, because like I said, I was taking a break from decorating. And across the hall, we have our laundry room and I'm actually doing a load of laundry right now. Well, towels, um, but I kept this room purple and turquoise like our wedding, I don't know why, but purple iron, turquoise iron cover. And then I put our wedding picture in here. And then I found this little laundry, um, Laundry, I don't feel like folding, so I just restart the dryer, and that's so accurate. I want to get another picture over there that's like laundry or something. I don't know. Hey guys, I have a YouTube video already on this room, so if you're interested in this room, please go check out that video for more information. This is the bathroom <clears throat> again, like I said, in every room, nothing going on here.
area if you've seen our loft before in our previous videos you know that we had the couch over there and the tv over there but to me it looks bigger this way and so i think we're gonna keep it this way i want to add like two chairs or maybe like one chair and take the and bring the coffee table in the middle and then put like two chairs right there like two blue chairs to match so yeah that's what i want to do with that i'm going to add some curtains and all that um later but this is my husband's um area this is his little cave so i let him have this area drum roll please all right just kidding all right this is our master bedroom i'm not sure if y'all have seen this room but um i love this room i went with the mint and gray and ivory so those are like our three colors mint gray and ivory um so yes our bed dresser um and mirror came from rooms to go <clears throat> all right these curtains i'm pretty sure the dark gray ones came from home goods um i bought them from my mom because she had an extra panel extra two panels and so i bought those from her and then the sequence ones are backdrops from amazon but they serve as my curtains so that's what i have going on the mirror like i said came from rooms to go and this is our bed i am in love with our bed king sleeps over there queen sleeps over there i am in love with our bed i think it this bed in this room is so perfect for us. Everybody says it's like a girly room, but they can shut up. Because um, my husband likes it. I like it. So if it's girly, whatever. Um, but, alright, so I'll start down here first. Mr. Right and Mrs. Always Right and the sequence pillow. Alright, the two pillows with the words came on that came on it came from um, one of our cousins for a bridal shower or something. I don't remember. And the sequence pillow is just a cover and that came from Hobby Lobby and it was like $3 because it was on like one of the days they were having to sell. This bench came from Overstock I believe or like Wayfair. One of those websites like that. And uh, it was about $200, $300. Um, so yeah. Um, our bedding came from one of those websites like that as well. Overstock. But Fun fact, my husband actually just washed our bedding in the washing machine and you have to take it to the laundromat. He didn't know that. And so now it's like kind of like messed up, but it's all good. Um, these pillows came from Ross. Oh yeah, I just cut the things off because I never cut them. Um, these dressers, I made those. I think I've told y'all that. I'm studying for my tests and I'm reading this book currently. So that's what's on my nightstand. My ring is on my nightstand because... I don't know, I think I had a dream that it fell off, so I just took it off in the middle of the night. But yeah, and then I have my Yeti over there. Excuse that. But yeah, I love our room. It is like my favorite room in the house. Um, on this wall, I want to put like our wedding picture or something, some type of picture over here. Um, just to, I don't know, I just want to do that. Our bathroom is very empty still. We still haven't put anything up. Or put anything on the wall. I still want to get the tub added on. So, and then just have the same setup, same color scheme that in our room that's in here. Our closet. Includes our house tour. I love our backyard. It's like the best feature of our house. Alrighty guys, so down in the comments, leave what you were most thankful for in 2016. I'm thankful for this beautiful home that I was able to build with my husband. So just tell me what you were thankful for this year. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, oh, oh. Having you close to me.